The other day, a federal district judge appointed by Barack Obama ruled against President Trump's assertion that executive privilege, at least to some extent over certain materials, follows a president out of office. Now, this particular judge, as you can imagine, is hardcore left. And unfortunately, Trump has, uh, has gotten a short straw here. So many of the judges in D.C. are hardcore left, and this is another one. And she basically said the existing president of the United States, the current president, Biden, he's in a position to determine whether the release of the information damages the executive branch or not, not the former president, and that the former president really has no further ties to whether or not the information will damage the executive branch. Let me help out this Obama judge. First of all, the issue of whether an ex-president, uh, whether a, a executive privilege, at least to some extent, follows the ex-president has never been definitively uh, adjudicated by the United States Supreme Court. That's number one. Number two, but let's think about it. If in fact, to at least some extent, executive pri privilege doesn't follow a president after he leaves the Oval Office, then you are, in fact, going to damage the executive branch. Because that means you can attack an ex-president for the things that occurred while he was president. You guys see my point? The point is, of course, you're going to weaken the executive branch. A president will know that once he or she leaves office, that they're, quote unquote, fair game for subpoenas by Congress, by a Congress of the opposite party, that wants to look into the, the activities of that president while he was president. And so, of course, that undermines executive privilege. Furthermore, you can't take the fact of party politics out of such a ruling. The president today is Joe Biden. Joe Biden will never assert executive privilege over Donald Trump documents or documents created during the Trump administration. He's of the same party as the people who are running that committee. He's of the same party of the Speaker of the House. And theoretically, theoretically, Donald Trump could be his opponent again in three years. So of course he's not going to assert executive privilege because Joe Biden doesn't have a principled bone in his body. Now, all that said, the judge's ruling, to me at least, I don't care what other judge rules, is absurd. And so now you have open season on the former president and his administration and his staffers they're going to town, the Democrats in the House of Representatives. Yeah, now let's get this. There are dozens, scores of subpoenas against people who have no conceivable role in anything. Let's hear what these three stooges have to say. Go. Late last night, pretty big news. Yeah, this is a big deal. A federal judge is rejecting former President Donald Trump's request to block the release of documents to the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol insurrection. In denying- So stop, that's a mouthful, right? The Capitol insurrection. So now that's what it is, even though it wasn't. There was never an effort to take over the government. There was never an armed insurrection. Insurrection, look it up, requires people to be armed, to want to take over a facility, a building, a government, and so forth and so on. Capital insurrection. I wonder if they're going to get to all the information where the president of the United States offered to send 10 to 20,000 National Guardsmen to protect that building. And Pelosi said no. That's always left out of these little so-called news snippets. Go ahead. Preliminary injunction, the judge said, quote, the public interest lies in permitting, not in joining the combined will of the legislative and executive branches to study the events that led to and occurred on January 6th. The judge noted President Biden already had waived executive privilege, adding, quote, the plaintiff does not acknowledge the different deference owed to the incumbent president's judgment. Went on, presidents are not kings and plaintiff is not president. Select Committee Chair Benny Thompson issued his own statement that reads this way, quote, this decision affirms the importance of the Select Committee's work to get answers for the American people, recommend changes to the law to strengthen our democracy, and help ensure mm -hmm. nothing like the attack of January 6th ever happens again. Trump's attorneys immediately filed a notice to appeal. The National Archives plans to turn the documents over to the committee by Friday, barring an order from the appellate court. There so you go. 
We want to get to the bottom of January 6th. Oh, okay. The Attorney General testified the other week that this is the biggest investigation the Department of Justice has ever, ever undertaken, with more resources than have ever been applied to any other investigation. I guess that includes 9-11. Wow. It's not the job of Congress to conduct criminal investigations or even civil investigations. It, the job of Congress is to have oversight and make determinations about legislation. They've gone far afield from that, ladies and gentlemen, with the help of this activist Obama judge. For more, sign up for Levin TV.